fungus gnats are small greyish brown or black flies around three to four millimetres long that infest soil and potting mix. They can often be seen running over the surface of seed trays or pots or flying slowly around plants. Fungus gnats don't bite or spread diseases in humans, but can cause yellowing and stunted growth in plants. Their larvae predominantly feeds on fungi and organic matter in the soil, making them part of a balanced ecosystem. However, they can also eat roots, which particularly causes problems for young plants and seedlings. Outdoors, fungus gnats are unlikely to be problematic to gardeners. However, inside the home, particularly if you keep a lot of house plants or bring plants indoors for winter, without natural predators, they can breed quickly. The presence of fungus gnats is often an indication of overwatering, as they prefer to lay their eggs in damp soil, and therefore it can help to let the top one or two inches dry out between waterings, or add a layer of sand or grit to the top of your soil around the plants to make the soil less accessible. Most fungus gnats live in the soil as larva or pupa, emerging as an adult fly which can live for seven days and lay around 200 eggs. So how can you tell if you've got a fungus gnat infestation? In all likeliness, the first sign is that you'll see these little flies crawling all over your soil and flying around your plants. However, if you still got any doubt as to whether it's a fungus gnat infestation or perhaps it's fruit flies, then there are some things you can do to be sure. If you take a close look at the surface of your soil, you might see the small white larvae wriggling around. Although unless your eyesight's very good, then it would probably help to get a camera and zoom in on the soil level so that you can see it a little bit more clearly. Another technique you can use if you've got an old potato lying around the house is to cut it up into slices. And you can use these slices to attract the larvae up to the surface of the soil. So place your slices of potato into your pots and leave it there for about three days. You may see some larvae on the potatoes or you may even just see these little white eggs that have been laid on the potato slice. Just to give you an idea how small they are, I've shown this wood louse climbing around next to them. So how do you get rid of the adults and the larvae? Well, by far the best way to get rid of the adult flies is to use sticky yellow traps. These could be purchased cheaply on Amazon or in garden centres and within minutes you'll find you've started to collect flies on it. The traps are not toxic, they're not harmful to pets or wildlife, but they will collect these flies and the flies will get stuck on the trap and be unable to move, a little bit like being caught in a spider's web. Or you can make a DIY trap with water and apple cider vinegar in equal parts and mixing it in a shallow container with a few drops of dish soap. You can also make a flying insect killer out of peppermint, cinnamon and sesame oil, which is non-toxic. Or of course you can use commercial fly sprays. My personal preference is the yellow sticky traps because as you can see here it is a very effective way of capturing the adult flies. However, if you've got a larger infestation, you'll probably have to buy a lot of these traps and you should also tackle the root problem of the larvae in the soil. One of the best ways to do that is with a 3% hydrogen peroxide solution, which can be purchased again online in shops like Amazon or in chemists. Simply measure out one part of hydrogen peroxide to four parts of water and apply that to the soil. This will not harm your plants in any way, but it will kill off all of the larvae and eggs that are living in the soil. Another method which works well for the larvae in the soil is to buy nematodes. Nematodes are microscopic eelworms that live in the soil and will destroy all the eggs and larvae in the soil. They're also really good for killing things like slugs and vine weevils. They're not harmful to humans and again they can be purchased online. If you're enjoying the content of Freya's Tropical Garden, then please help this channel grow by subscribing. Every new subscriber is appreciated. And by turning on notifications to my videos, you can also make sure that you don't miss any episodes in future.
You can also follow me on social media where I'll release links to my latest videos as well as share my flower of the day. You can follow me on X, Instagram, Threads, Facebook, or join my Facebook group to engage in discussions and share your own photos. Freya's Tropical Garden webpage also has links to my videos and helpful advice. And now, in order to support the continued growth of this channel, there is an option of becoming a member, which will give you access to a private Facebook group where I'll be running monthly competitions exclusively for members, as well as additional exclusive content. And as always, I welcome your feedback in the comments below.